What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to an action figure uh, customization video. I got this amazing Yamaguchi Batman out of the box of broken action figures that I received and I really like what they were going with here but I don't love some parts of him. So in this video we're going to focus on fixing up some of the parts I don't love and also we're going to try to paint up a head sculpt with uh, cheap Walmart paints and see what happens. So I started off just by removing this whole cape section on the back. I just heated him up with some hot water and everything popped off the back here. It's just glued to that bottom peg. Probably should cut that away. But uh, here it is. Just It plugs in there just like that. I just had to heat it up a lot and it finally popped loose eventually. Then I removed the neck. I did this just so I could try to put the cape on there. Here's the neck section. To fix the emblem, I just removed the old emblem and filled it up with putty. I tried to match the sculpt of the chest here with the putty. And then also I filled in the head. I'm just using epoxy sculpt for all this. Also made him a new logo out of epoxy sculpt as well. You can see it there. And to make the logo, I just 3D printed this template and just kind of packed in the epoxy sculpt into that hole there for the logo. And then with the epoxy sculpt, after about an hour, or probably two or three hours, you can actually pop it out of that. You can see the directions here. Two to three hours, you can pop that out and then just place it on the chest. And you can kind of shape it to match the chest, uh, I guess how the chest is laid out. So you can see here, it kind of fits on there pretty well and it's still curing right now. But after this, I'll have to sand it down where it's all smooth and everything. After that was cured, I painted it black. I put a gloss coat on top of that, and I don't think I should have done that, but I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. Also repainted the chest where the uh, sculpt was still showing. I just mixed in black and white and a little bit of blue. You can see after I sanded it too, the shoulders have plenty of room to move around. I also installed this, or I added this uh, wired cape I got off eBay. I'll put the link in the description for that. but. Uh, it's way better than the one that it came on, so I'm happy with that. And then I went to Walmart and uh, went through all of these Apple Barrel paints. These are like 50 cents each, I think. So I just started grabbing a bunch. Really, my goal here was just to try to paint a uh, head up as cheap as possible. I printed off a couple of these Batman heads and wanted to see if I could paint one with just the Apple Barrel paints. Just trying to put out like a uh, more wallet-friendly uh, option here. So I grabbed all of these. That peach color is the one I used for the base uh, flesh tone. I would have went with something darker if I was gonna do it again. This light mocha I was gonna use to, to like uh, give a wash, but I probably would use that as a base tone. I got this big bag of brushes. They have a, a smaller bag with uh, some more smaller brushes, but I thought the big bag would be fine and I could use it for other stuff in the future. So we started off with this peach color. Uh, like I said, you probably want to start with something a little bit darker because this didn't work out as well as I wish it would have. But I just watered them that a lot. With these cheaper paints, they're not going to apply very easily. So you got to really make sure they're watered down so it doesn't leave brush marks or anything. And this is going to take a lot of coats. I tried to fil film all the coats. I sped up everything though, just so we didn't sit here all day watching this. But you can see after this first coat I do, it's not on there very dark at all. So I just slap this on anywhere that skin is going to be showing. And then uh, in between coats, I'll wait like 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Just because uh, this is going to take a little while to dry and I don't want the paint peeling off later since I didn't prime him. So here's a second coat. Like I said, we're just slapping this on everywhere we can. I use the same paint for most of the time. Uh, I have to mix some every once in a while, some more. You just don't want it to dry out. You don't want it to leave brush marks and you don't want it to go on too thick. So you want to keep it really wet. So this is coat number three. Come back for number four. Like I said, wait like 20, 30 minutes, especially when you get a lot of paint on there. You want to wait a little bit longer just so it doesn't uh, ever like chip away or anything. So I think this is number five. <laughs> and uh, at this point, I'm just trying to hit the spots that weren't really covered that well in the other coats. So some of the high spots don't really get covered as well as the low spots. So you have to go through and make sure you uh, highlight those a little bit better. So I think in total on this base flesh tone, I think this is coat number five. No, actually, I think this, this took about six coats to fully cover. 
After that was covered, I let it dry for like 30 minutes. Uh, and then I came back with this light mocha. This is what I was gonna use for my wash. So you really wanna thin this one down. It needs to be mostly water with just a little bit of paint. But like I said, when I started, uh, I would have probably used the light mocha as the base tone and then went with something a little bit darker. Uh, later on the video, I have to go back to the store and buy <laughs> more paint, something darker, because this just end up not even looking like that much of a difference. Uh, but I did like two or three coats of this wash here, and you can see uh, it's not really doing much. <laughs> he still looks super pasty and pale, so uh, I had to end up, like I said, I end up going back and getting more, and I'll show that in just a little bit. But before I did that, I wanted to try to give him kind of a five o'clock shadow, kind of stubble look. I haven't tried this really that much, so I thought this would be a good time to kind of see how well this turns out. So I just kept mixing paint here. I just want it to be close to the flesh tone, but like a little bit of black mixed in. And then I'm gonna go through with a mostly dry brush, uh, just to try to like stimple it on wherever it would look like you would have facial hair or wherever it would be a little bit darker. This isn't that big of a deal if you mess up. You can go back and put more coats of uh, the flesh tone on there. But you can see it does definitely add a lot of texture to his face just having that darker five o'clock shadow going on. So I did mess up a little bit, so I mixed up a little bit more skin tone. Right here, I'm just going back and fixing everywhere where he probably wouldn't have very much facial hair, like his cheeks and his uh, around his lips. And then I go back with that wash again, just try to blend everything together. Because I didn't want there to be too much of a uh, difference between the dark of the facial hair and then the regular skin tone. So then for the lip color, I just mixed in the flesh tone I used with a little bit of red to kind of get a pinkish tone. I end up going and fixing this later too, just cause I got it too pink, but you really want to water this down as well. Like even about as much as you're watering down the flesh wash, you want to water this down. So that way you can just keep putting on layers so you don't have to worry about uh, getting it too dark because between layers, you can see where you're at and see how much darker you want to go. And if you just want it a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, you can add a little bit of paint in. But his lips were a little too pink, so I'll fix that later. But uh, for the white, I did the same thing, a milky consistency for the paint. I just paint over the eyes. I feel like eyes are really important too because you don't want to lose the details in there because that's just going to make it harder to paint whenever you go to paint the black on later. You're not going to know where the eye ends and the eye hole begins or whatever. So make sure you go really light with the white paint. At this point, I wanted to see what the whole thing was kind of looking like. So I just slapped on some black paint wherever it needed to go on the cowl. And I used a really thin brush to try to get uh, the lines of the mask right. I did two coats here and it's gonna dry and I'll come back and do around the eyes and everything just to try to clean it up. I didn't want to mess with those yet because I still need to put more white paint on there to get, or get it a little bit more white. So I bought these two at Walmart. I uh, just went back and picked them up. Well, I knew if I if I gave him another flesh wash with a little bit darker brown, uh, it would help blend everything together. So here I just mixed it with a lot of water like, like I did last time. I'm gonna go in and try to slap this on. And I'm trying to avoid the mask here. You can see I went back and painted around the eyes off camera. And so I just really wanted to avoid the mask so I wouldn't have to touch anything up. I think I ended up having to touch up the black anyways, but. You can see already how much better it looks. The lips definitely blended in more with the skin after that. But I do here, I come back and I repaint the lips. I use these three colors and I just mix it down, get it really watered down. And uh, try to add less red here. I want it to be more like the flesh tone with a little bit of red before it was way too dark red. So here you can see me slapping this on the lips. Sprayed it with this clear coat. I wouldn't do that if I were you though, cause it messed up the black. I had to repaint that. So here's the final product. Uh, I don't think this turned out too bad. I think the uh, matte coat I put on definitely lightened him up, which I did not want. But I mean, the paint hasn't chipped away and I've been messing with this for a little while now. Uh, the colors turned out okay. He could definitely be darker. And, but the blacks really did stick on there pretty well. And the eyes I don't think are too bad. The skin tone is just too pale. It really didn't, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but the paints don't look bad on him. So 
I think it's kind of a positive light at the end of this, but I painted one up with my more expensive paints and here's what that looked like. This one I kind of went in the opposite direction. He's a little bit too tan for Batman especially, but I, it does match the head that came on the action figure, so I'm, I'm not too upset by it. But you can see how much of a difference that skin tone makes. I mean, it's black and white above. It's just the skin tone that really changes everything here. I think the big comparison here is more so how much it costs to paint each one of these. <laughs> So the, the cheap one only costs about like $15 with paint and supplies, maybe even closer to 10. While the more expensive one is probably around $30 just for the paint. Then I have a $100 airbrush and a $100 compressor. So, I mean, it's really, if you're just now starting, I think the cheap paints from Walmart are not a bad place to start. So to paint this head, I use this uh, flesh tone from uh, Citadel just as a base tone for the skin. And then I came back with some black mixed into that and my airbrush, I kind of airbrushed around the sides and the like where the five o'clock shadow would be. I haven't really tried this before, so it turned out better than I <laughs> expected. So I was pretty happy with that. I came back for the lips. I kind of mixed in this dwarf skin with a little bit of scarlet and I think a little bit of that flesh tone. I don't know, the lips are always tricky. So I usually bounce around a bunch of colors here. So just kind of a mixture of some flesh tones, some uh, reds, and uh, just water that a lot like you were before, and that'll, that'll get you a good lip tone. Then I went over the whole thing with the flesh wash like before, and that really is what brought out a bunch of like how dark his skin tone is, so maybe I'd water that down a little bit more if I were you. For the eyes, of course, the white, and then black for the whole scowl. And then I came back with the lips. I put this gloss top coat on the lips and the eyes. I kind of missed the eyes a little bit. You can see how it's kind of shiny around the eyes, but the lips, I think really, it it really benefits the lips to put the gloss coat on. It makes it stand out a little bit better. So here's the final product. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, the chest emblem really helps fill out that chest a little bit more. It doesn't look as silly as the smaller one did. Uh, and the gloss coat, I think I could have skipped on, but I really like how it made the whole proportions look a little bit better. The cape is way better. That was the one thing I was gonna fix regardless of what else I did. With the new head, he can still look up just fine, and he can look down just fine, he has a little bit of tilt. It sticks on pretty well. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't fallen off at all yet, so I'm pretty happy with how the sculpt helped fill in that. Uh, here he is compared to the Mafex Hush Batman. I just wanted to see what the height difference was here and I think this could work if he wasn't so tan. If he's a little bit more pale I think this would look better together. It's like a maybe an older Batman. The head sculpt looks a little bit older but here he is uh, with the face that I painted with the cheap paints and I think this one actually looks better. It looks closer to the Mafex one if you put these two side by side. But uh, thanks for watching and I think these uh, cheaper paints are definitely a viable option if you're wanting to uh, just paint up a bunch of head sculpts and without spending that much money. It definitely turned out better than I expected. But hopefully this helped you and uh, if you want to see more content subscribe to me here and follow my Instagram. I'll be doing some, I'm doing a lightsaber build next and then after that I think I'm going to work on some DC multiverse. So if you're in DC action figures uh, go ahead and subscribe for that. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check you all in the next one. Bye.